Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. So our article today is entitled, Headed for Another Mass Extinction. Let's understand the title carefully. So headed for means we're getting closer to, or that's where we're uh, going towards. So we're going towards another mass extinction. Mass means great, a large number. So a mass extinction. Extinction we learned before, extinction means no longer living. So such as dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are extinct, they are no longer living. So a mass extinction means a lot of animals at the same time disappearing or not living anymore. And that's where we're headed to. That's where we're approaching, we're going towards. So headed for another mass extinction, question mark. Let's look at the article together. It says the Worldwide Fund for Nature, the WWF, presented a gloomy prediction for the world's animals. So, the WWF, the Worldwide Fund for Nature, is an organization that raises money to protect and raise awareness for animals. Okay, so that's, in short, the acronyms, the shorter version is WWF. And they presented, they showed, or they let people know, a gloomy prediction. Gloomy, we use, we use this word a lot in when we do the weather. So gloomy day, gloomy face, uh, when we mean something that is sad. Gloomy means dark, kind of a dark prediction. Prediction means they guess, they predict, saying that this is going to happen. So they think that something bad is going to happen for the world's animals. Let's find out more what it is. According to their Living Planet Index report, 58% of all animal populations have deteriorated from 1970 to 2012. So what does that mean? So the WWF, they have created a report called the Living Planet Index. And that means in this world, how many animals are alive? That was the report that they did. And out of those animals, starting from 1970 to 2012, over this 42-year uh, process, in this time, 58%, a little bit over half of all the animals in the world have deteriorated. Deteriorated means break down, kind of get lower, kind of fall apart. So 58% of animals have, the populations, the number of the total animals have gone down tremendously, right, in a large amount. If this trend continues, more than two thirds of the world's wildlife will be completely gone by 2020. So if this continues, just like it has from 1970 to 2012, if that pattern or trend, if that continues, if that keeps happening, then more than 67%, two thirds, right? 67% of the world's wildlife will be completely gone by 2020. So if we keep uh, letting the animals disappear at this speed, then by the year 2020, then most 67% of all the animals in the world will be gone. That's very scary, right? So let's look at what it says next. What's the cause of this drastic fallout? So drastic means all of a sudden, you can notice it, and fallout means the bad result, right? So what is causing this huge uh, falling down of all of these animal populations? It says Martin Taylor, a WWF conservation scientist said, this is definitely human impact. We're in the sixth mass extinction. So Martin Tyler, or Martin Taylor is a conservation scientist. Conservation means a person who works to save usually save animals, but we also have conservationists for nature. So people who want to protect and save nature. He is a scientist who uh, works to do that. And he said, this is definitely, that means for sure, right? This is definitely human impact. Impact meaning this is the cause of humans. So he says, it's definitely our fault. It's humans' fault, right? He says, we're in the sixth mass extinction. So that means there were five other extinctions uh, where a large number of animals died, and this is the number six time that it's happening. The loss of wildlife habitats, massive overuse of resources, pollution, and climate change are the main offenders destroying our wildlife. So if you look at this, the loss of wildlife habitats, habitats we learned before, habitats means the natural homes of animals or plants, massive meaning great, overuse of resources, overuse means we're using too much, we're using too much of resources. Resources are things from nature that we need in order to live. Resources like water, land, trees, all of those are resources. So we're using it too much, too quickly. Pollution, we're putting a lot of dirty things into the uh, environment. 
and climate change. The weather is changing, it's getting too hot, sometimes too cold. These are the main offenders. Offenders meaning the, the people or the things that's causing the problem. Uh, and it, all of these things are destroying our wildlife. It's destroying our animals, it's destroying nature. So according to Martin Taylor, he said that it's humans, it's you and I, it's the people around the world who are causing all these animals to die. Okay? So let's see if there's any hope. However, there are hopeful signs. Right? So that means there's a chance. Right? There's some signs saying that it might get better. Over 200 nations reached a historic agreement in October to limit the use of dangerous greenhouse gases. So we talked about greenhouse gases before. It's the, it's the harmful gases that come out invisible to our eyes from air conditioners, refrigerators, from cars, from factories, from all these things. 200 nations around the world agreed. They, they said we will do our best to lower how much of these harmful gases that we give into the environment. So that's very hopeful because more and more countries are understanding this is a problem and we need to do something about it. So they're going to limit or keep down the use of dangerous greenhouse gases, the gases that warm up our planet. The giant panda and several species of wild cats like Siberian tigers and Amur leopards are showing signs of recovery. Recovery means it's getting better. It's getting healthier or it's going back to its original condition, right? the way that it was. So the giant panda, several species, several kinds of wild cats, like the Siberian tiger and the leopards, they're showing that they're increasing in population again. So they're getting back to their normal numbers. Uh, it may not fully go back to how many tigers there were before, but it's much, uh, it's getting much better, it's improving. Still, this may not be enough, right? Uh, before the world loses its entire animal population, people must take immediate action to protect these wildlife species. So even though this is going in the right direction, this may not be enough. What we need to do is before more animals are dying or will die, we must take immediate action. Immediate means right now. We cannot wait. It cannot be slow. Right now, we must take action to protect these wildlife animals. Right? Otherwise, we will only be meeting these beautiful creatures in our books and movies, just like dinosaurs. So this is kind of a sad ending. If we do not do something right away about the problems of wildlife extinction, then we will only get to see these animals, like the tigers and lions, in books. So I don't know about you, but I love tigers and lions. I love nature. And if I was only able to see them in books and not in a zoo or in a safari, then that would be very sad. So if we think about our children or our grandchildren, if you and I don't do something about it, then according to the WWF, we may not see these animals anymore. So this is an article that has a lot to do with our futures. So I hope that you learned something interesting and that you will uh, really put this to your heart. And let's do something about saving these animals. Let's look at the questions for today according to our article. So if you look at question A, it says, according to the Living Planet Index report, uh, remember that's the report that the WWF shared, what percentage of all animal populations deteriorated from 1970 to 2012? Remember, we talked about deteriorate, or deteriorated means it breaks down or it falls apart, it goes down. So how much, what percent of all the living animals, what was the number that decreased? So it says here, something percent of all animal populations deteriorated or broke down or came down. So what percent? We said it was a little bit over half. 58% of all the living animals, the number has gone down from the 42 year uh, time period. So let's look at B. According to Martin Taylor, the scientist, right, the conservation scientist, what is the cause of this drastic fallout? So this sudden change, what caused this sudden change of the number of animals? This is definitely something impact. We're in the sixth mass extinction. So did we say it's a problem with the animals? What's causing this? So the answer is human impact, you and I, right? People all over the world. We are causing uh, the sixth mass ex extinction. So let's look at the last question. What is a hopeful sign? What is a sign that shows us that things are getting better? It says over 200 nations reached an agreement to limit or keep down the use of dangerous what kind of gases? And we talked about it. It's greenhouse gases. It's the gases that get trapped in our atmosphere and causes the world to heat up. 
So these are the things that uh, were highlighted or focused on in our article today. Let's look at our last set of questions. Uh, let's fill in the blank uh, to complete each sentence. So A, it says the World Wide Fund for Nature, the WWF, presented a gloomy something for world's animals. So gloomy what? So gloomy is the adjective, meaning very cloudy or very dark. So a dark what? Uh, a dark prediction. It means it's going to happen. They guess. They think that according to what they know, this is what's going to happen. And it doesn't look very good. So we say that's gloomy. That's a gloomy prediction of the future. So here, let's look at B. If this trend continues, trend is like a pattern. If this pattern continues, more than two thirds, like I said, that's about 67% of the world, something will be completely gone by 2020. The world's water, the world's resources, the world's what? What was the focus of this article? We talked about wildlife. Wildlife are the animals living in the wild. So it's not talking about our pets at home, but it's talking about the lions, tigers, zebras in the wild. So the wildlife, animals living in the wild, will be completely gone, 100% by 2020. That's very sad. That's very gloomy. And let's look at the last one. This is definitely human impact. We're in the sixth mass what we said mass was a great number right so we're in a great big number of that's right we talked about it in our title mass extinction so this is the sixth time in the history of the world where a huge number a mass number of animals are becoming extinct so what are we going to do about it i hope that you learned a lot of information today that we would think about the ways that we live and if we want our children and our grandchildren to see these same beautiful animals, then you and I, we need to do our best to limit our greenhouse gases and educate people. Share what you learned today with your friends so that we can see these beautiful animals for hundreds of years to come. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and you learned a lot. I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.